is there a future where maybe you can say, I don't want any to exist in my code base. Anything that used to be any is now unknown. Uh, we had a flag that um, yeah. a few years back called strict any that we tried to make work. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It didn't work. Um, there were a lot of problems. It, it's really, it, it's conceptually very tempting to just be like, ah, all any is just unknown. But then like, yeah. there's a bunch of mechanics internal to the type system that like, depend on any behaving the way it does. And if you just sort of like, you know, if you just pull up checker.ts and, uh, rem you know, change the any type to the unknown type, then stuff just breaks all over the place. It's, it's very painful. Yeah, um, there's a, oh, this is a, well, we can, we'll come back to this in a second. I'll show you. <laughs> Um, that, that's for later. That's for later. Don't uh -oh. look. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a uh, hard kind of type. Are we really okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's going to be you, Daniel. Um, um, so like there's, there's things that, that, uh, so like the, the, the definition for return type, uh, mm -hmm. is, let me see if I can find it. I think I have it here. So like for anybody who doesn't know type return type, it looks like this, mm -hmm. right? And I think it's giving me an error because I, I renamed it. But anyway, this is like straight out of the lib. Uh, that we were talking about. And sometimes you hit these weird things where it's like, oh, because if you pass never, then it doesn't match on this. Uh, therefore, we get we get any. And so the type comes out any, even though like, oh, this function returns one. Mm -hmm. And I show you this example just to show you like, I'm not convinced this is real. Like, I'm not <laughs> sure this matters in any, like you could even construct a toy example where this matters. I did hit it, but by accident yeah. while trying to fit, hit something else. And I, I, I use these examples to talk about sometimes that like there may not be like a, a perfect solution for all of the, the things that you want to do with the type system. Um, you know, people try to do lots of things. Uh, that's I guess I gave it away with the higher kind of types. But <laughs> honestly, I, I don't know who wrote the return type type alias. I don't think that they thought that the false arm of that conditional was reachable. Mm, OK, <laughs> you'd have to really. Well, maybe it wasn't ahead. at the time because yeah, maybe it wasn't at the time if uh, yeah. if it goes far enough back before never, then um, no, it doesn't. It's it, doesn't? it really should have been never, I think, or yeah. known or something like that. It just seems off to me. But well, it's possible know. that we wanted return type of any to be any. Yeah, because it would, the any wouldn't hit the infer. That's um, probably it. So then we we would want that to fall back to any. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I mentioned this to uh, so so. I know a TypeScript ninja, uh, Matt Pocock, or I'm sorry, not Matt, uh, Mike Potat. I know a lot of Matts and Mikes with P's. Uh, so type, uh, I don't know. I'll just do this real quick. He said that because of this, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know about that. Because of that, I always use this type um, mm -hmm. because that's the actual universal function subtype. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, we had entire arguments about this as well, internally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes I think it's the interesting about any and going back to strict any is like sometimes you actually do want a like a function type that is both the top and bottom function type. Mm -hmm. Um just so you can like talk about it in a type without making that type uh invariant. Um so it's like any does show up from time to time. I think if if I had to kind of imagine the feature that I would put in place to um address the sort of TS reset use case, I, it'd be kind of nice just to have a type alias that was like any, if you had the flag off and unknown, if you had the flag on, and then we would just have like json.parse return, like, I don't know what you'd call it, any or unknown. Um, sure. And then we'd spend the rest of our lives teaching people which one you should use, um, depending on the situation. <laughs> I kind of want to talk about that strict any flag that we try to pursue. The thing that, that came from was we actually spoke to some people on the hack team a couple years back, and they added these, this type called dynamic, which functionally acts as any, meaning like you can do anything you want with it, right? It's it's unsound in what it operates on, but it doesn't leak. Or rather, it can only leak to other places that are annotated as dynamic, right? So you can't say that this dynamic value is a number or a string or whatever, right? So it's sort of limited in that it's like, it's kind of like the damn it, let me do whatever I want type. Mm -hmm. But it means that it's very limited to like the specific place where like, I know what I'm doing, don't get in my way, right? Yeah, um, and then you might have to cast if you have like some specific property that you need out of it, right? So mm -hmm. we wanted to bring that into the language as well, but we didn't want to add a new type, right? Because, but especially like you know soon after two o, right? Even a couple years after two o, right? Like we had, okay, the curly curly type, 
which, and that was confused with the uppercase object type. And then we also had unknown, and also we had undefined, which kind of like kind of kind of like unknown, but not really. I mean, looks like unknown because they both start with you. So like unknown, no, unknown, uh, undefined. Oh, and then there's never, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, like, is you know these these all kind of are a lot for people to sort of conceptually juggle where like you will see blog posts of like what does the never type mean right we really yeah. we love that people are willing to like explain those things it is hard to it feels bad that there's so much mental energy that someone has to like spend being like well what does this mean right yes i in the, the so we haven't talked about it but uh i don't know if you guys know the about the typescript type challenges i mean, <laughs> but <laughs> We'll, we'll, get to it. we'll get to it later. But uh, in the type challenges, just to cut ahead a little bit, I have this chart that I show a couple times throughout some of the videos. When this topic comes up in such a salient way to express like, what is really the difference between the curly curly and object, the lowercase o, and record string unknown? Like, mm -hmm. And I think I, I feel your pain. Like I understand some of this is uh, not your guys' fault. I think it's just like, there's a little it's bit a of language. Fault. It's a fault. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm just going to give you the out. Well, closing 